हेल्दी सोच वेलकम्स डॉक्टर एम आई सहादुल्ला हु इज द फाउंडर चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ किम्स हेल्थ केयर मैनेजमेंट लिमिटेड सर सो व्हाट आर द स्पेशल अरेंजमेंट्स दैट यू हैव इन योर हॉस्पिटल फॉर द पीपल फॉलोइंग अंडर बीपीएल कैटेगरी या इन द कोविड सीजन यू आर आस्किंग करेक्ट यस सर इन द कोविड एंड बिफोर कोविड आल्सो लाइक फॉर द या या yeah i think uh, you know uh, when the covid started just like everyone we also thought that oh okay this is uh, like a nipah virus or dengue virus it will come and it will uh, just go away um or a chon and one it will not be like a pandemic so we were um, uh, looking at how is it coming and then only it became a pandemic and it was declared as a pandemic um, you know in by february and um, of course some emergency situations came up but um, in in kerala at least our hospitals were not challenged until a um, couple of uh, three months later uh, the reason was that the cases were lower compared to other states and uh, so they thought that the government of kerala thought that they could manage with the govern public uh, properties public health care system they can uh, definitely manage all, all the cases but when it started going high and the numbers became much more um i think all of us realized that there should be a definite involvement of the of the private sector so we joined with the government and even before we were uh, giving all the training required uh, for the doctors the nurses and the paramedical people uh, how to deal with covid if it comes so initially covid were just uh, dropping in by by you know um, by chance and we detected rest of the cases we treat the covid we sent to the government facility as the number of cases increased uh, we decided in fact um, you know in trivanta uh, we were the first hospital uh, to uh, start start admitting covid uh, straight away and so we started admitting and the government also <coughs> requested us uh, to admit the covid cases so at that time we had more than about 100 120 and 130 cases of covid uh, in the hospital and then slowly the situation improved and um, some of the cases even though covid positive uh, can be treated in the government so at a one point of time or even now we are a covid non covid combined hospital so it was a challenge that when you admit both covid and non covid and uh, then people have a lot of scare to come because there's a covid so we have a complete isolation of two floors for covid patients and uh, from the emergency room from the lift from the laundry from the people doctors uh, the residents everything had been completely separated and it was a challenge to take it up with the pp and a separate surgical theater if they want to have an emergency and uh, so it it was a great uh, uh, challenge for the doctors and also for the um, administration so the governance was also there but at the same time you should also um, understand that the initially uh, the the uh, performance of the hospital came down to about 30 to 35% from 100% to 30 to 35% and about 3 months it stayed like that after the 3 months it started going up and then it came about uh, 50 55% but in the last 2 months um, it has gone up to is about 70 to 75%. So we still maintain a completely separate uh, system parallelly working for covid patients and non covid patients. But at this point of time the covid patients have come much less and um, even though the numbers in Kerala have not con- you know completely come down. And we hope that uh, because of the election because of the festivals many of many of the things people do break uh, that uh, hygienic uh, system uh, in between and that's why the cases went up but in general i feel that in the coming weeks 
unless a new surge of um, um, COVID is coming, or the, as you mentioned, the new um, genetic variant of the COVID is coming, um, we should be uh, doing much better as far as the COVID scenario. And uh, we certainly will be converting back to a non-COVID situation, uh, hopefully in a, in, a month, in a month or two. And by the time the vaccination will also catch up. But at the same time, we are also ready um, to give vaccination drive for the masses. And if the, gov you know, the government is taking over and doing it, and they are going to do it free for all the uh, deserving uh, category of people, that would be great. But there are a number of people, a good percentage of population will look for uh, private uh, sector to give the vaccination, for which also we are ready. And uh, we have facilities to give about 10,000 uh, um, vaccination per day. And uh, so we are prepared in that sense um, for all the situations. So only thing is that there's a lot of training and uh, learning has gone into this. And um, so um, uh, I really uh, want to recognize the contributions of our faculty and nurses and um, uh, you know uh, in uh, preparing that so and uh, fortunately we did not have uh, we had healthcare workers affected uh, but uh, fortunately we did not have any serious cases or any fatality in that respect uh, we would like to know about your your uh, healthcare promotion plans and the new project you are coming up which is the kims east and uh, if you would like yeah to... yeah kim sees is um, a new build a tower we have added with our two existing towers and um, uh, we wanted to uh, complete it by july um, however uh, due to various um, constraints of the uh, you know pandemic um, and the supply chain issues logistical problems and uh, labor uh, uh, difficulties uh, we could not uh, we, we just completed now and uh, we we are waiting for, for the permission um, sometime in a week or so and uh, to completely uh, occupy it it's about 275 beds and um, well, if we could finish it early and get permission we were looking at admitting uh, completely covid patients there but um, at this point of time, the COVID patients have come down, and therefore we are looking at uh, um, our uh, going as as per our previous plan. And uh, in the, our plan uh, in this uh, building is that uh, we have um, a, a increase in the bed was required because always there was a demand for beds, and uh, this will take up to about 850 beds in Trivandrum. Um, alone and um, uh, and therefore uh, but what all the things in this new building we are focusing is that uh, we have got um, you know complete transplant services for example we have a liver transplant kidney transplant and um, uh, cardiac transplant and uh, we are also starting lung transplant and as well as the uh, pancreatic transplant so all the transplant programs will be taking place in this new building because the new theaters are set for that. We are also starting the pediatric cardiac surgery and um, which uh, was not available so far um, below two years of age. And so we will be adding that uh, to this. Robotic surgery is another area and uh, we wanted to add and um, then um, you know these theaters are well equipped for robotic theater, robotic surgery and that also we will be going ahead with and then the hyper um, you know baric oxygen um, you know chambers will be available <clears throat> the, now the use of hyperbaric oxygen is coming up uh, you know very common and uh, that also is a part of the new building then, of course, um, we have got an excellent uh, unit of nuclear medicine and uh, that nuclear medicine expansion also will be in this one. So, mostly the 
uh, you know the 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 very advanced technology as well as the digitalization in the post covid area the digitalization is very important so all whatever we can make uh, digitally and uh, help the people and um, so so that uh, the digital healthcare it can give better quality as well as uh, faster delivery and uh, the quality is assured and so digitalization is uh, um, is a, you know we have uh, uh, we have uh, special measures taken to make uh, in the new building uh, much more digital than the old towers but slowly even though old towers will be converted to the same degree so payment gateways um, patients uh, all will have a patient portal all the results will be sent we are already completely emr based and um, almost uh, no paper we use it so um, everything is ordered by online uh, for x-ray investigation everything so people do not have to walk around with any paper at all they can go to a center and say the name and all the uh, you know the the their lab investigation or extra investigation results will be there. So that way, um, we are making it um, highly digital and uh, automated. So these are the new things which are coming in. And, uh, but also the OB, uh, OBGYN and gynecology and advanced and, um, and also um, perinatology and neonatology all these will be in the new building. And uh, so these are the uh, plans for the new tower. But of course, uh, new tower is not going to stand alone. New tower is merging with the, um, the first and the second tower. And so uh, then only um, a, a good, good kind of a cohesive approach will come in. It cannot stand as a silo because um, that is not possible in medicine. I know, unless of course you are going for single or uh, you know uh, limited speciality buildings but this is not like that this is a multi-speciality but cutting edge technology and that's what we are getting at so, so the last question so uh, do you have any plans to expand the infrastructure within india like on in different cities or outside india yeah we are looking for opportunities in chennai and the back road uh, and um, uh, and also in Tamil Nadu, uh, we are almost um, you know um, in the we are modifying a building and um, it cannot be a brownfield but it's a almost like a greenfield building in Nagarkoil and uh, that uh, should be opening by end of next year. Again, it got delayed because of the COVID and uh, two more acquisitions we are looking at. And uh, we are expanding. Uh, we, have, we have got almost 60% uh, uh, or 65% of our installations are in, um, in, in Kerala. But uh, we also have about 35% uh, in uh, GCC countries. And we have got three hospitals and uh, um, 18 uh, medical centers there. And uh, so there also we are looking at some expansion. So parallelly, there will be expansion in India, and we will all go, we will be going outside Kerala, and um, um, certainly um, some of these um, towns we are looking at, and also we are looking at um, Andhra Pradesh because they are giving a lot of incentives for healthcare um, institutions. So these are our um, you know coming couple of years plan, but meanwhile we are ready for um, going for uh, IPO, and um, so. When the market is improving, uh, in um, 18 months' time, we are looking at uh, going for IPO. Okay, congratulations, sir, for that. And uh, are there any plans to uh, expand the, your infrastructure in Delhi and Mumbai, like the metro cities? Are there? Uh, you know, there are uh, very big players there, and um, um, uh, and uh, we have not really uh, embarked on. We have uh, in touch with the many of these groups. And, uh, but um, when, he, when it is far, you know, it is um, a bit difficult to control and uh, manage. So I feel that um, where people can travel and so the bandwidth can be kept uh, uh, much better in management. 
So we are looking at uh, reasonably in South India uh, before we can expand to North India. That's what our plan at the moment. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. All right. It was great having you, you. Uh, with us on the channel. Thank you very much. Sir.